In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's good people. It is a new week. We are in the second week of Easter, Church Year B. Today is Monday, the 12th of April, 2021. You are listening to Catholic Meditation, broadcasting over Radio Evangelium of the Diocese of Kumba, Cameroon. Catholic Meditation is always produced and brought to you by the Communication Service of the Diocese of Kumba. Osla Ajebesone is the producer. Remitus Elad, the webpage director. For presentation, Father Blessed Ambang Njume is my name. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly Maker. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verses 23 to 31. The psalm is taken from Psalm 2, and the response to the psalm is, Blessed are all who trust in you, O Lord. The gospel is taken from St. John, chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. I read from the first reading. In those days, when Peter and John were released, they went to their friends and reported what the chief priests and the elders had said to them. And when they heard it, they lifted their voices together to God and said, Sovereign Lord, who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and everything in them, who by the mouth of our father David, your servant, said by the Holy Spirit, Why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples imagine vain things? The kings of the earth set themselves in array, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. For truly in this city they were gathered together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. And now, Lord, look upon their threats and grant to your servants to speak your word with all boldness, while you stretch out your hand to heal, and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The theme for today's meditation is Turn to God in prayer in your own time of difficulty. Turn to God in prayer 
in your own time of difficulty. Dear friends in Christ, the apostles, after seeing in truth that Jesus was risen, and upon receiving the mandate from him to witness to the resurrection and to proclaim the good news to the ends of the earth, are already about their mission. But that was no easy task. They were to preach about the resurrection to a people who had never heard of something like that and did not believe in it, especially the Sadducees. Confirm Mark chapter 12 verse 18. In one place, they heard them talk about the resurrection. They were laughed at and mocked, and the people said, We would like to hear you some other time talk about this. Confer Acts of the Apostles, chapter 17, verse 32. They were to preach about a name Jesus that the scribes and elders did not want to hear about, and about a person whom many saw as fake especially as they saw him die helplessly on the cross on Good Friday. Confer Acts chapter 4 verse 18. It was not easy to convince the people to believe in this Jesus, in this name, and in this person. In the words of St. Paul, we preach about the Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. Confer 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 23. But for us who believe, he is the wisdom of God. So you see, though they had a mission and a task, it was not an easy one. To convince the people was indeed a daunting task, though however, some believed and were converted. Today's first reading presents us with one of such occasions where and when they faced opposition and difficulty. In one of their missions, while they were preaching, the elders of the people arrested them and threatened them never again to preach in the name of Jesus. What is of interest to us, beloved, and the lesson of today's meditation is drawn from the reaction of the apostles. They had been threatened and sternly warned under penalty of death should they continue to preach in the name of Jesus. Some of us, I guess, were we in their shoes, we would have withdrawn and stopped and backed out. We would have tried to preserve our lives. But the apostles did not fear. Neither did they fight back. No. Neither did they stop. What did they do? They rather put their difficulty in prayer. They turned to God in prayer for counsel. They turned to God in prayer to the God who gave them the task. In that prayer, they listened to God. God empowered them. He gave them a boldness and strengthened them. He assured them of His presence. And after that prayer, they continued with no fear because they had been assured. For this reason, today's psalm says, Blessed are all who trust in you, O Lord. Oh, dear friends, you too may be facing your own difficulty or threats like the apostles. It could be similar. Threats on you to stop something you are doing that you think is godly and true. It could be otherwise. You could be facing threats or persecutions in varied forms. You could be in a dilemma about a decision whether to do something or not to do it. It could be a family difficulty. It could be a misunderstanding with a friend, a spouse or family member. Beloved, like the apostles, do not fight back. That is not the solution. Do not fear either. Rather, take it to God in prayer. How many of us, when in difficulty, do we turn to God in prayer and pray to Him about it and present the difficulty to Him? The apostles prayed about their troubles, and from their prayer, God told them the way forward. You too, dear friend, take your case to God in prayer. Do not underestimate the power of prayer. To pray is to talk to God about our problems and also to listen to Him. Pray to God about it 
and you will come out enlightened. You will know what action to take. Prayer is talking and listening to God. When you talk to Him by presenting the difficulty, listen to Him on what next step you have to take. Most times, we end our prayer only talking to God, but we fail to or refuse to listen to Him. The advice He gives us, the wise counsel, the apostles prayed to God about their difficulty. Father, this is the trouble we are facing. You entrusted us with this task. With these threats, what do we do now? And we are told after praying, they received a certain boldness and courage to go on. Which means God listened to them. He gave them the go ahead. Rather than ask them to withdraw, he encouraged them to move on. And it is with that courage that the apostles moved on. Beloved, that is the advice we are giving. Pray. Pray. In your own difficulty, beloved, pray. Do not cease to pray. Go to God in prayer and He will tell you what to do when in your difficulty. Do not go to other places for solutions. Do not be discouraged. Do not give up thinking God is not by you. No, rather, Go to him in prayer. Talk to him. And like he did to the apostles, he will give you wisdom and wise counsel on what next to do. And I tell you, when you take your problem to God in prayer, you come out different. And the action you take is in accordance with God's will. Oh dear Father, we are sorry for those moments when in difficulty we took decisions on our own. When in difficulty we rather ran away from you. Help us always like the apostles in times of difficulty, to run to you, to bring our difficulties to you in prayer, assured that you will listen to us and tell us exactly what is the right thing to do. Amen. Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed. We wish each and every one of you a blessed new week. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Turn to God in prayer in your own time of difficulty.